if you go to rent a house that beyond your income, you have sold out your peace. What have you done? You have sold out your peace. How can you get sleep in a house beyond your income? Who blinded your mind? How did you go to price the house? Because I, uh, so my day high things rob people of their peace. Psalm 131 and verse 1 and 2. David said, Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty. Neither do I exercise myself in great matters of things too high for me. You want great peace. Stop toying with what robs you of peace. Don't have one million and be pricing something of 10 million. How do you want? Okay, what, how would they bring the price down to one million? <laughs> Now watch, 1989, one of my friends came, 1990, he said, you can't be living in this place. So they said they found a place in the Kedja, 45,000 per annum. I said, is it for sale? <laughs> they will sell for me in the village. Now, if you don't know what you are doing, please come home. <laughs> no, I, I will never be tempted to do it. 1986, the church was going to rent a house. We had 5,000 budget. There is nobody who can move it up. Nobody in the world can move it up. So, if they say this house is 5,500, that's not our house. Look for the one that is 5,000 or 4,500. Hi guys, this is Emeka Anstem, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. I really hope that my videos have been a blessing to you and I thank you for always coming back and back again to my channel to watch my content. All right, let's get back to this video and be blessed. Yes. I remember in those days before we began construction here, I would come into site and return home and I would tell my wife, I could feel God here. I could feel God's presence here. I walked through the bush in the night and there was no sense of fear. I, I could feel God here. He leads always in the path of peace. I knew when he said to me, this is the place. His peace just dominated the entire environment. He leads in the path of peace. You won't suffer crisis anymore. Yeah. Those are covenant terms for operating in this realm of peace. Peace that's beyond human explanation, beyond human understanding. They look at it as fake. It can't be real. This can't be real, my friend. Is that human? No, we are not human. <laughs> Amen. We have changed status. We are not a new creature. We are not a peculiar people. We are only wearing the same flesh as they do, but we don't have the same inside. Something has turned on the inside. May this peace of God be each one's portion from now. Amen. Please understand this. How far can we go without his presence? And we are required to be still if we must experience his presence. How far can we go in the battles of life without his intervention? For by strength shall no man prevail. How far can we go? But that is a calm down, 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 calm down. Your future is sure. Calm down, calm down. Peter slept between two soldiers. A day to them will be killed. Calm down. God took over. An angel came from the Lord and tapped them. Peter, get up. Where were the soldiers? They were under vertical sleeping spirit. They stood and slept. Amen. And Peter stood up. He said, Bind your sanders now, don't move. Just tie your sander well. 
check yourself in the mirror <laughs> and follow me. <laughs> peace, peace brought God to the scene. Peace brought God to the scene. You have Paul saying, Cheer up! An angel of the rock appeared to me today, tonight, and said, There shall be no harm. Eh? We will lose our goods, we will lose the sheep, but no loss of life. In the midst of the storm, he could hear the voice of the angel. <laughs> That's peace. It provokes divine intervention. That's your new realm. That's your new realm. That's your new realm. That's your new realm. Some kidnapper carry one of our daughters here, our little children, in the children's church. I mean, uh, <laughs> and I said, relax now. This child will come back. Yes, sir. One year. Two years. Yes, <laughs> the man came by himself. He said he saw me chasing him about in the night with a sword. He said, I know I will die. I said, yes, we will die. <laughs> for you have made the parents to cry for two years plus, you will die. But the child came back. Peace. It's not that every time I say, go, 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 go. Take over. Um, they took your turtle dove from your house. Now, who should be bothered? You. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The child is back. Amen. Just be at peace. <laughs> that you are palpitating wounds of the problem. Be at peace. Be at peace. It's a new dawn for you. 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 Your story has just changed. Finally, be aware of minding things too high for you because it robs people of their peace. Beware of minding things too high for you. It usually robs people of their peace. Watch. If you go to rent a house that's beyond your income, you have sold out your peace. What have you done? You have sold out your peace. How can you get sleep in a house beyond your income? Who blinded your mind? How did you go to price the house? Because I... Uh, so, my day high things rob people of their peace. Psalm 131 and verse 1 and 2. David said, Lord, my heart is not haughty, nor my eyes lofty. Neither do I exercise myself in great matters of things too high for me. You want great peace. Stop toying with what robs you of peace. Don't have one million and I'll be pricing something of 10 million. How do you want? Okay, what, how would they bring the price down to one million? <laughs> Now watch, 1989, one of my friends came, 1990, he said, you can't be living in this place. So they said they found a place in the Kedja, 45,000 per annum. I said, is it for sale? <laughs> they will sell for me in the village. But if you don't know what you are doing, please come home. <laughs> no, I, I will never be tempted to do it. 1986, the church was going to rent a house. We had 5,000 budget. There is nobody who can move it up. Nobody in the world can move it up. So, if they say this house is 5,500, that's not our house. Look for the one that is 5,000 or 4,500. <laughs> so we can save 500 naira. My God, life. 
I've never prayed for house rent in my life. I rent houses that don't need prayer. <laughs> Stop exercising yourself in matters too high for you. Many young people can never start businesses. Who, they want to start on top. Uh, what do you need? One, I need a car. Um, I need an apartment uh, in VI. And then um, uh, I need three staff. Eh? <laughs> Who are you? Are you a staff or a staff owner? <laughs> People just disturb themselves for nothing. For nothing. For nothing. I told you a humorous story. I told one of my sons to get me three pairs of shoes. He now came and said, someone that was very good. I said, <laughs> I said, how much? He said, 700. I said, does he have NG? <laughs> does he have NG? Now, when you enter into it, you carry to where you are going. <laughs> Somebody bless this morning. Come on, give the Lord a big hand of praise. We were outside the country one time, and a friend of mine, uh, we didn't have a meeting that night, so we in the hotel, so we walked around the hotel room, the hotel spaces where they sell things, and he said to me, Brother David, do you like this uh, ring? I said, God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. Ah! I said, that thing will be the church, that like the amount that will be the church. God forbid. He said, I like it. I said, well done. <laughs> no. If you close my eyes, I won't. If you give me the money, I will tell you to go and give the money to God. For me to wear a ring that will cost less than a house. No, no, no. Which finger will I put it? <laughs> when you put pleasure before labor, you live under pressure. Just put pressure, pleasure before labor, you live under pressure. Many young people are under pressure today, they put themselves there, not the devil. They put themselves there. They put themselves there. Proverbs 21, verse 16 and 17, look at it. Proverbs 21, Verse 16, the man that wanders out of the way of understanding shall abide or remain in the condition of the dead. Verse 17, he that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. And he that loveth wine and drink shall not be rich. So the moment you are after pleasure, you are creating space for pressure. You are creating a future under pressure. Wake up. Speak to yourself. No one can get you out of it. Speak to yourself. Speak to yourself, sir. Speak to yourself. Some fellows don't have money to train their children in Nigeria. They now borrow money to train them abroad. What is the matter? What are you looking for? This is my son who said he must go. Let, let him must pay. <laughs> let him pay. People just are under pressure for nothing. I have never prayed for school fees in my life. Children will go to school that I can pay for without prayer. I need my prayer for more important things. Wake up, sir. Wake up, wake up, wake up. 